Hello, my name is Allie, and welcome to my channel. We are back with Radiant Tail. We're still in the Kalman route. We're not specifically, we're not in Zephora's route. Yes, we will be answering questions for his route, or not answering questions, but putting, um, what's the word? Answer choices to get to his route, but apparently you don't actually start their route until like chapter six. So, I mean, this is going to be long, but, um, I was going to say too, if I sound like I just woke up, I kind of did like about 30 minutes ago something like that so yes I just wanted to get as many recordings in as I can today because it's been a long time so anyway let's just go things moved very quickly after I made up my mind pleasure doing business with you from now on circus has both an assistant and a mascot Hey, what do you mean by that? Don't get your panties in a bunch. It's just a figure of speech. Anyway, welcome, welcome. Oh, if you forgot the last episode, or if you haven't even watched it yet, make sure you do. The last episode, we saw Ratty's human form, which is oof. Anyway, let's just go. <laughs> now let's depart at once. Gather your things and follow me. Huh? Right now? She only just signed. Don't whine. Everyone else is already waiting in the carriage. Carriage. While commoners usually walk, they use public stagecoaches or ride with merchants to travel between cities. Each city is connected by a large highway. The carriage Circus uses is custom made and exceptionally comfortable, and it is drawn by a Sleipner? Sleipnir? I don't know how to say that. Who remembers the routes? It's going to be lots of interesting words. I'm guessing it has to do with like the the magical creatures and stuff. What? I've parked the carriage right outside the city. Come immediately once you've finished packing. Okay? Bye. Ginia marched off proudly, not even allowing us a moment of protest. Raddy and I hurriedly scrambled to gather our belongings. Our farewell with Spiria was just as rushed, and we ran to the outskirts of the city, where the carriage was apparently parked. I do like the backgrounds. Like, they kind of have almost a watercolor effect. Not totally, but kind of. It reminds me of, if you if you haven't played it, um, Jack John. Jack John, I think it's called, something like that. But it that has a little bit more so of a watercolor effect, but... I mean, it kind of reminds me of it, but not totally. Oh, there they are. Hey, lady, ratty, over here. So you actually came. Sounds rich coming from me, but I'm impressed that you really decided to join this bunch of misfits. Come on, don't say that, Sephora. We're all going to be partners traveling together after all, right, Eon? Genia has specified that we should receive them with a smile. Says the one who doesn't even have a hint of a smile on his face. Everyone's been super excited to welcome you two to the crew. I can't wait to travel with you. Flower! Ah! Velia's radiant smile bloomed a flower and warmth blossomed in my heart as well. His happiness was genuine. He welcomed me with open arms and was truly excited to have us, us along, so much so that his emotions manifested a blooming chorus. Me, a cheerful, gutsy 16-year-old girl who works at Lieber, her aunt's tavern. 16-year-old? 16-year-old? Wow, I didn't realize she was so young. She was content with her peaceful life, but one day she was suddenly dragged into a mysterious group called Circus and became their producer. Ever since, her life has been anything but ordinary. Yeah, me too. Me three. Velio may have been the only one who seemed excited, but that didn't stifle my joy one bit. I relished the excitement in my chest and Ratty gave me a reassuring smack with his tail. No worries. Ratty the Great has your back. 
let's head out, come back with way more experience, and show Spiria what we're made of. Yeah, you're right. I decided that I would try, so I won't just do it halfway. Let's all do our best together. And now, our journey begins at last. I took a step forward, one tiny step away from my happy, warm, normal days in Lieber. What awaited me was the start of my, no, our adventure. All right. Intermission. Okay. There's intermissions. <laughs> Interesting. Oh my. So, um, what sort of fancy looking? Moments after we departed from our there inside the rattling carriage. I will say I turned down the sound because I swear it is so loud. It's almost down to the bottom and it's still pretty loud. We finally made our belated introductions. We're going to be together for quite a while, so it'd be nice if we kicked things off by learning about our fellow victims. That's true. We haven't introduced ourselves properly either. There. In that case, I'll kick things off. Jinnia. <laughs> I'm sure you know exactly who I am. Even if I don't announce my name to you, I'm Jinnia. Jinnia. Due to his flashes and flashes, flashy and gaudy conduct, this noble has made a name for himself inside our fair. A maverick who loves fashion and luxury above all else. Under the orders of the king, he becomes the person responsible for circus and the collection of blooming flora. However, he doesn't seem motivated no matter how you look at it, and everyone's exasperated by his conduct. I usually work in the castle, but my elegance must have been so loved and admired that they couldn't resist making me circuses leader. Circus dash one. <laughs> A troop of performers led by Jinnia. They answer directly to the reigning king, King Vigonia. Interesting. Other than Jinnia, the members of are Vilio, Sephora, Pascalia, and Eon. With addition to our heroine and Ratty, the roster becomes a grand total of seven. Their goal is to go to each major city and bloom five flora, which are essential to melting Prince Clavius's heart. Once they've accomplished this mission, King Vigonia will grant them one wish each. If you ever encounter any trouble, come to me right away. I will. Pleased to meet you, Lord Jinnia. Oh, just Jinnia is fine. Spare me the formalities. We're going to be traveling together a long time, after all. Got it. In that case, if something ever comes up, I'll be counting on you, Lord... I mean, Jinnia. How strange. I can't think of anything that's ever been resolved by talking with Jinnia. My... Please think twice before you say that. This carriage, our mystical tent, even our gorgeous clothes, I made them all possible. You should actually thank me for all the comforts you have on this journey, you know? Ah, no wonder. That's why we have the luxury of riding in a carriage pulled by Fay, huh? The tent in the plaza was amazing, too. So, that really was a mystic tool? Very much so. It was designed specifically for us, and it comes equipped with the latest tech. When not in use, it can fold into a tiny box, so it's very portable. Setup's easy, too. It practically does everything on its own. It builds itself? Wow. Ah, so that's how such a huge tent appeared out of nowhere in one day. The mystic tools that I usually used weren't too fancy. Things like lamps and ovens you'd see everywhere. Since we ran a restaurant, we had sets of slightly pricey cooking utensils too, but everything here was on another level. Oh my gosh, my stomach keeps growling like crazy. I don't know if you can hear it or not. I hope not, but it is so loud. 
There were probably a bunch of high-end mystic tools with functions I would never guess just by looking. Well, we endorse, we're endorsed by the royal family, after all. Our tools must be up to such standards. You're up next, Pascalia. Introduce yourself, if you please. <clears throat> oh my gosh, sorry. Pascalia. Okay, I'm Pascalia, and I come from a small village called Ruth. Ruth, a small village where Pascalia was born. It's not like it was just said. There is a spring nearby where spirits live. Most of the villagers are farmers. Vegetables grown in Ruth are juicy and very sweet. Let's see. Just like you two, I joined Circus because Jinnia gave me an offer. I only left my village recently, so there are many things I don't know. I might cause you some trouble, but please take care of me. I'm still trying to figure out his voice. I mean, I only have like a certain amount of voices I can do, so if none of them fit, I am so sorry. <laughs> Considering that we're going to be putting on shows and all, your powers and looks will for sure come in handy. Hey, I know your contracted water spirit must be super strong, but how strong exactly? When the four major elements, fire, water, earth, and wind, gained a will of their own, we called them spirits. Element. The energy that makes up the world. There are four. Fire, wind, water, and earth. Together, they make up a classical, the, the classical elements. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. I am just messing up everywhere. They could be said to be nature itself, and they were everywhere. If a human formed a contract with one, they could borrow the spirit's power and unleash it in the form of what we called magic. I know that humans who contract with strong spirits get a makeover, but even me being me, I haven't seen a human who's been influenced to this degree. Good point. I'm contracted with the wind spirit myself, but the only thing that changed was the color of a single lock of my hair. That's more than just a single lock. <laughs> wind spirit. Wind spirits are the embodiment of freedom. They do as they like and are the hardest spirits to communicate with, resulting in them having the least... Contractors. Though forming a relationship or contract is difficult, once they are invested in someone, they will treasure their bond forever. Even if it's not one of the legendary great spirits, it must at least be a higher spirit. The Four Great Spirits. Incredibly powerful spirits representing each magic element. Celius, the Great Spirit of Earth. Libera, the Great Spirit of Wind. Leave, the great spirit of water, Valen, the great spirit of fire. Together they founded a city to grant Arthair's wish. Nowadays, they're nowhere to be found. Higher Spirits Spirits absorb elements in nature, and over time, they begin gaining their own form and will. Eventually, they can become classified as higher spirits after a lengthy life. Higher spirits can reveal their appearance to anyone they want at their own will and can also engage in conversation. They obtain the ability to sustain their bodies with their own mana pool, which means that they can travel outside their natural territory. Yeah, that's probably the case, I think. Probably? The thing is, I don't really remember what happened during my contract. The next thing I knew, I looked like this. That's why I don't really know how to use magic either. Genia's contract is with a wind spirit, and Velio's a fire element fey, so I can't ask them for help. Ratty, you can use a bit of magic, right? Well, I'm fey, so yeah, but I'm of the earth element, so afraid I can't help you there, Pascalia. Plus, I can only do parlor tricks at best. Fae and humans channel magic differently, and contractors aren't all that common. Yeah, that's why I want to look for someone who can wield strong water magic along the way, even if they're difficult to find. Well, 
We're heading around the world, so who knows? You might just find someone. Exactly. That's what I'm hoping for. I'll breathe a sigh of relief when I do. Okay, that's all from me, I think. Please take over from here, Zephora. Zephora. Name Zephora. I work as an information broker. I'm from Cultura, the Labyrinth City. I volunteered to join Circus because there's something I want. What would that be? I don't owe you an explanation. I was pretty surprised when you started introducing yourself without a fuss, but there's the good old Sephora I know. The bare minimum suffices. And do not get in the way of my work. Remember that. Are you listening, Lizard? I'm talking to you. But I've never gotten in your, in your way before, Zephora. Do you have the memory of a goldfish? Is that thing above your neck purely decorative? Is your brain smaller than the birds, perhaps? Ah, uh, so yes, he is the Takudu of this game. <laughs> hey, I'll have you know that my brain's the same size as yours. Plus, that didn't count as getting in your way. I was only calling out to you because you didn't notice me. That's what others call a disturbance. Uh, okay, okay. Let's calm down. Um, Zephora, it's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. You're not off the hook either. The only thing you're good for is being normal. Can you really manage this problematic lineup? True, you might be preferable to Ginia, but that's all. Preferable at best. I don't expect anything from you. You're better off just looking after that incompetent lizard so that he doesn't drag me down. What? Oi, dude. You've just met her, and you're supposed to work with all of us from now on. How could you say something like that? I only stated the objective truth, Furball. I don't trust you either. Wow, a blunt one, aren't we? Oh, well. Even if you don't get it right now, you can learn along the way. I don't have any such plans, unfortunately, for you. Ugh, whatever, suit yourself. You're next, right? Um, Eon, was it? Eon. I am Eon. I used to be a member of the public security forces. Um, could you add any more information? I hail from Furus. <laughs> oh, come on. Introductions are the first step forward in any relationship. Try a little harder, will you? Communication is the most fundamental thing on a team. In that case, I shall say that I am opposed to you two joining Circus. What? Are you trying to tell us that we should turn on our heels right now and go back? If that is possible, yes. A lengthy journey comes with danger. No one can predict when trouble will strike. We will cross forests as we move between cities and fiend encounters are likely. If a young woman and a small creature join, escaping them would be much more difficult. That's... you have a point, but... Okay, okay, stop right there, Eon. I get what you're trying to say. But I'm the one who gave them the job. It's already decided that they're part of the group. Do I make myself clear? Understood. Eon didn't look convinced at all as he turned his head away from us. Maybe I seem really thoughtless in, their, in the eyes of an ex-officer making this decision. Perhaps I shouldn't have come along after all. Vilio, Pashkalia, and Jinia welcomed me with open arms, but Zephora and Eon didn't seem to share the same sentiment. <laughs> Please don't look so dejected. I don't think Eon said that with any ill will. And even if it is dangerous, you have me. No need to worry. All right. Thank you. Okay. It's my turn next. 
I wasn't going to make this video so long, but because this is pretty much introducing the guys, I want to make sure all the guys are in. I'm Velio, and I'm from the Island of Dragons. Flying's my specialty, and I love meat. Nice to meet you once again, Lady and Ratty. Yeah, nice to meet you again, too. And, huh, there's an island full of dragons? Dragons usually live in solitude, but that island's an exception. Apparently, a bunch of dragons live there. Yep, exactly. You're very knowledgeable. Filio grinned widely. Looking at him, it was difficult to associate him with the classification of legendary fey beast. However, he was a dragon through and through. I saw him with my own eyes, so I have no choice other than to believe it. But, at the same time, somewhere in the back of my mind, I still had lingering doubts that the person before me really was a dragon. Plus, Zephora was calling him a lizard. <laughs> Uh, he really isn't anything like how you'd imagine a dragon, especially like this. He's just a nuisance in the shape of a fae. At any rate, it's nice to meet you. Okie dokie, time for our introductions now. Ratty. I'm Ratty, and as you can see, I'm a lovely and adorable fae beast. I'm going to be the team mascot after all. You can count on me to attract loads of spectators with my killer cuteness. Are you sure you aren't a duster instead? Hopefully you'll be more than just baggage. What can you do, Ratty? Well, dancing's a forte of mine. Ah, and nobody can beat me when it comes to being popular with kids. Dancing? I see. I'm a bit envious. I've never been very good at it. I can teach you my almighty pretty dance. Anytime you want. The offer always stands. <laughs> I might take you up on that sometime. Sure. Leave it to Ratty the Great. And I'm the only one left, right? I'm Lady. I'll do my best to support everyone as the public relations manager and producer. Assistant girl. <laughs> Our heroine's occupation in circus. Usually, she doesn't stand on stage as a star of the show, but plays a critical role in supporting the framework of the troupe. Thinking about strategies to attract spectators, coming up with the content of their show, and giving instructions to all the members in her job is her job. I hope we can all work well together. Of course. I'm looking forward to it. Mm. Now that we've gotten introductions out of the way, I'll sum up what our goals are once again. If I remember correctly, we have to perform at each of the five major cities and make the flora bloom, right? But if we only need five flowers to bloom, can't we just perform five times at the capital? Why go through the trouble of touring through each city? Well, the reason for that stems from how exactly flora are made by improving chloris. To tell you the truth, the number of blooming chloris is plummeting everywhere. What? Wow. I didn't know that at all. I'm going to let you guys go here. I know it's probably not a best place to stop, but I wanted to try to get in all the introductions, and it's already past 31 minutes of this <laughs> recording not at ed the editing so and the editing may cause like about quite a bit cut out because I really butchered some things so anyway I hope you are enjoying and I'll see you in the next one bye